Joined by Frankie Corrado. All right, Frankie, the NHL salary cap this season is $88 million. After the Pacioretty, Lorenz, and Cade signings, the Leafs have spent $87,999,999. They have one U.S. dollar left to spend, but they've got to make some decisions before opening night. Which six D-men do you think get the call for Wednesday's opener against the Habs? Well, you know you're going to have Morgan Riley and Chris Tanev playing together. I would imagine Oliver ekman Larson and Jake McCabe are going to be your second pair. And then where it gets interesting, Gino is on your third pair because Simone Benoit should be playing. And on the right side, it's a toss-up, I guess, between Connor Timmons and Timothy Lilligren. But if we've seen the message from Craig Berube throughout this training camp be about accountability and players playing to a higher standard and holding themselves accountable, Connor Timmons deserves to play over Timothy Lilligren. This is a guy who's 25 years old now making $3 wow. million dollars a year. And for the most part in the preseason, Gino, he looked like a player who was more likely to take a step back than take a step forward. This is the time for Lilligren to try and knock on the door of being a top four defenseman. And he went the other way in this preseason. So Connor Timmons deserved that spot right now. Let's go back up front now to help the Leafs stay under the cap. Max Pacioretty signed for exactly $873,770. That's exactly $1 shy of the cap. The Leafs have loved relying on the older veterans over the past few seasons. There's been Spezza, Thornton, Giordano, just to name a couple of them. Do you think Pacioretty can have a bigger impact than those guys did? No, I don't think he's going to have a bigger impact than those guys did. The core group is beyond having a veteran guy around just to have a veteran guy around. We're at the point where if you're going to be an older guy in this group, you have to bring something to the, ta to the table. And with all that being said, when Max Pacioretty is playing well, he does bring something to the table. He had a good first game in the preseason. We saw him connect with Nick Robertson a couple times later in the preseason. Has a little bit of foot speed. Might give you a little scoring punch lower in the lineup. But that's all you're going to get out of Max Pacioretty. And if that's what you expect to get out of him, then that's okay. But this group is beyond the point of needing a veteran guy to show them the ropes. This is a new leadership group. Austin Matthews is the captain. He's seen it all at this point, except for more playoff success. I would imagine this group is ready to take the reins without a babysitter type veteran presence around this group. You use the P word. It's all about the playoffs, my friend, for Pacioretty. With 25 postseason goals, he's currently the highest playoff scorer on this current Leafs roster.